Um, well, I think as an as addicts, we have little to no sense of self. Um, and as a woman, it's hard because um, when you have no sense of self, you do stupid things. And when you um, don't hold yourself in high esteem, you put up for with treatment that isn't great. And so um, I'm trying to figure out how to say this. It's like. Uh, Well, as a, as a as a young woman too, I think that like it's a lot. A lot of times, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm taken seriously. Um, but as a woman too, I see. I've seen it when I was out, and I've seen it in recovery. Um, when you don't have a sense of yourself, you try and get the any kind of attention that you could get, um, which could, you're looking for the positive, but you get the negative and. I think in our culture and throughout, there's a very objective view on women. And when you lose any kind of sense of who you are, you kind of put up with it more and you let it happen and you encourage it without realizing it. So um, that was part of the reason I got sober because I got tired of being that, that girl. Um, not taken seriously, predictable, sloppy drunk girl. But in sobriety too, as a young woman, I feel like I, I get a lot of like, well, what do I know kind of a thing. Um, no one says that to me, <laughs> just to be, to be clear. No one says, what do you know? But um, I get that kind of mentality at points. I get that feeling. Um, just kind of a bad vibe sometimes. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, we're all we're all one and the same, and you get people get people get all alcoholic, addict. You go to your own go to your own corner, you know, like which I think is I get it, but I don't get it because we all suffer from the same disease, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I really think that it's important that men have a place and women have a place, and they have their own places where they can speak about those things. Because being a man. Um, I obviously don't know anything about it, but I understand there's a lot of pressure put on men to be a certain way, just as there is for women to be a certain way. Um, and that pressure also can come out and go very wrong with addiction because we can't handle pressure. <laughs> so um, there's a lot of things that go into it, I think, it, in just being a person, but then being a person who's lost a sense of yourself and who is struggling to find a way and struggling to find themselves. The gender role gets stuck in there, and it's so easy for us to get derailed. And um, you know, like racial relationships are a big no-no because it's another means of running away from the truth and looking at yourself. Um, I think that that, excuse me, is something that happens um, and can be also looked at. Like I'm trying to say, it's like some people, when you're doing that, you don't realize you're doing it. So. Some people can do it notoriously and not know that that's what they're doing. Um, and it's sometimes kind of not, in my opinion, um, addressed as an issue, which only perpetuates it, as we know with anything. If you let something go and go and go, it's going to keep going. Um, so for me personally, I've removed myself from certain situations where I didn't feel like it was comfortable to be a woman there. And I'm not going to say where that is. <laughs> but. Um, for me and for, I think for anybody in recovery, an important part is to be comfortable and to find where you are comfortable and to find where you can speak your truth because that's how we get better. Um, and it's sad that, you know, just to throw in another statistic that I was learning about, it said one, one in four women by the sophomore year in college will have been raped. And that's, uh, that's insane. And that statistic has stayed that way for at least the past like 20 years hasn't moved, it's just a thing.